When I read the Bible, as we come to the book of Enoch, there is something I found that was very clear. Someone asked a question. Man of God, when does a person become a prophet or apostle or whatever? When, is the, when, is, when, when, are you, when do you become it? Is it when you go to theology school? Or when you do that? I have an answer for you. When do you know what you are being called for? It's very simple. I found the answer in the Bible. When you look at the life of Elijah and Elisha, the answer is very clear. You are not trained, then you become. You become, then you are trained. It's very clear. It says, in your place, anoint Elijah. In your place, anoint. So when Elijah came and looked at Elisha, he anointed him. It's that anointing that makes him become. So the anointing of the prophet comes on you first. It means God separates you and calls you something. Then now he begins to give you primary knowledge for your becoming as a prophet, personal prophet, because you are a priest first, and to God he has made us kings and priests, and to him your prophetic gifts personalizes unto God. Then the secondary option of your gift is unto men. But today our gifts are unto men. We don't know how to serve God with our gifts unto God. So with Elijah and Elisha, when Elijah met Elisha, Elisha was a businessman plowing his, his father's fields. He knew how to do cow business and whatever and farming. He was a farmer actually. It is that when Elijah met him, he put his robe over him as a sign of the anointing over him. So it is the anointing that comes first, then the walking. But you can't walk to be anointed. You are anointed to walk in the area of the anointing. Are you understanding me? So before you are formed in your mother's womb, it is the anointing that separates you. Before you even knew what the anointing is, the anointing is what separates you. You begin to notice you are desiring to read. You are desiring to know. The anointing of a teacher comes on you as a babe. You don't know anything about it. It's the anointing that now begins to separate desires in your heart. All of a sudden, you are not desiring something. It's the work of the anointing. So the anointing comes first. Then the anointing will train you into the primary option and the secondary option. So in the secondary option, you begin to serve people. That's when he makes you whatever he wants to make you in the fivefold. So when you come to a Bible school, I can't anoint you to become anything. I must be told by Jesus, this is an apostle. And whatever I anoint you as, and heaven has not desired, all I'm doing is putting a lianto. I'm making chapati as far as God is concerned. Assuming that the person you're anointing is Baal, like Paul and, and Ben. Where is Ben? Oh, they, we left them in Uganda. They are coming tomorrow. Eh? You can imagine in Basilia Bible School, you have someone like Ben. Already his head is on fire because he has been on. And then the problem is you happen to anoint him outside. And it's at 3 p.m. It means he has been burning the whole time, so the head is ripe. So if you put oil, and then you just, you just, just put a little egg, it will fry. It is God that told Elijah in your place, still supporting the scripture that to some he gave. Elijah never anointed Elisha by his desire. Still God gave him prophet in your place anointing. It is the anointing that comes first, then the service follows. You don't serve God, then you start being anointed. You are anointed, then serve God with the grace that he gave you. Do you understand that? So all of you here are anointed. But you will think that the day that you begin to manifest in the anointing is the day you are anointed. No, you are separated by anointing. Anointing separates. Anointing separates. So depending on the area that God will drive you with the anointing, that anointing has a way of creating roots. You will find that we are all anointed, but one is going to Garissa, another one is going to Uganda, but we are all anointed. Many manifestations, same spirit. And this is why with that grace, Elisha cannot be mentored by Paul. The root is different, but the God is the same. 